New insight into the fire that destroyed the USS Bonham Richard and the sailor accused of starting it. An attorney representing the sailor is opening up about the charges. This comes as new court records describe the sailor as a Navy SEAL dropout who didn't even like the military. News 8's Evan Ronnie live outside Naval Base San Diego now with a closer look at these developments. Good morning. Good morning to you as well. That's right. These are newly unsealed documents, as you mentioned, that give us a little bit more context into what led to that fire on the USS Bonham Richard. And this, of course, comes as his attorney, the attorney representing that 20 year old sailor, says that he is innocent of these crimes, that he's proud of the time that he served in the military. All while these court, uh, court documents uh, paint this man as a, a, a Navy dropout, really, a Navy SEAL dropout. So take a listen to what his attorney had to say about the events leading up to uh, that fire fire on that ship and why he believes that his client is innocent. You know, it sounds to me like there may be some hesitancy on the sailor's part who claims that he saw my client. You know, during COVID, the crew was all required to wear masks. So take a look at the photo on your screen. This is sailor Ryan Sawyer Mays included in that newly unsealed search warrant. I love the smell of napalm in the morning as the caption Mays posted with the photo one month before the fire below deck, likely a reference to that movie Apocalypse Now. In the warrant, Mays is described as a Navy SEAL dropout who hated the military, a claim Mays defense attorney disputes. According to the search warrant, a fellow sailor was, quote, 90% sure that he saw Mays carrying a bucket while going down into the area of the the ship where the fire started right before flames broke out. The 20 year old suspect was initially taken to the brig at Miramar, where two sailors claimed that they heard him talking to himself, saying that he was guilty. Now, this is in direct contrast with what his attorney says. He says that his client has always asserted his innocence along the way. There's also information in those court documents related to what seems to be uh, Mays possibly having tried to stop uh, the fire hoses from being able to turn on or be able to spray water. So in, in, in fact, trying to stop the firefighting efforts once that fire began. But again, so far, there is uh, only that evidence in these uh, search warrant documents as well as these uh, unsealed documents that give us a little bit more context. Uh, this uh, sailor still is not in custody right now. He's been released from custody. So this is still an ongoing investigation that will likely require more information and a lot more context related to uh, what possibly could have led to the destruction of the ship and billions of dollars uh, worth of damage to the USS Bonham Richard. Uh, outside of the Navy base, I'll send things back to you.